Okay, we're back uh, with my LX470 100 series, and uh, what I'm going to be doing today is a test with my Airlift 1000 airbags and the stock hydraulic AHC suspension. And basically, what I'll be doing is I've got these are the airlines to each of the airbags, so I will uh, first bleed them all the way down to zero psi, and then I will measure. Using TechStream, I will measure the uh, AHC suspension fluid pressures in the front and rear. And then I'll do zero PSI in the airbags. And then I think what I'm going to do is like two and a half PSI, and then five PSI, seven and a half PSI, etc., all, uh, all the way up to 15 PSI. Um, and then once we do that, I'm going to log the uh, AHC pressures for each PSI. And what I'll do is I will put it into low mode. Um, or probably up to high mode and I'll back down to my driveway and bounce it off the curb and put it into neutral and then drive back up and then I'll park here in my drive or my garage where it's mostly level and I will put it to low mode and then to neutral uh, which is how TechStream measures the AHC pressure so I'll do that in, in between each time so when I add pressure to the airbags it will have a chance to settle and move through the range of the suspension a, a little bit. So yeah, we, hopefully we'll get some good results. Again, just to, so you know, I've got uh, some emergency supplies, but otherwise completely empty with a full tank of gas. That's the uh, current config. Okay, so I bled down both of them. Yeah, so there's zero pressure now in the bags. While we're waiting, I'm going to I'm going to high mode. And I'll back out. <laughs> All right, so now that we're back in neutral and it's reading 6.4 on the front and 6.2 on the rear, that's a little bit uh, low on the front and like right in the middle of the range on the rear. And uh, so now what we'll do is we'll add 2.5 PSI into each airbag. We'll back up, come forward, go high and low, and then we'll measure the, measure the pressures again. And hopefully if I don't turn the truck off, we don't have to connect the tech stream again. Now we'll be going to 2.5 PSI. Alright, so with 2.5 PSI in the bags, we're at 6.8 in the front and five, oh, 7 in the front, 5.9 in the back. Now we're going to 5 PSI. Okay, so with 5 PSI in the bags, we're at 6.7 in the front and 5.6 in the rear. 7.5. Okay, at 7.5 PSI, we're at 6.8 front, 5.2 rear. Ten PSI. Okay, with 10 PSI in the bags, we're now at 6.6 .6 on the front and 6.8 oh, on the front and 4.8 on the rear. It's funny, when you film, you can actually see the truck raise. All right, I'm gonna go to 12.5 PSI.
15 PSI. All right, so with 15 PSI in the bags, we're at 6.4 in the front and 4.2 in the rear, which is the uh, lowest pressures yet. All right, so in conclusion, uh, basically it's a no-brainer. The more air you put in the airbags, the less work that the hydraulic suspension has to use. Um, I drive around with between 3 to 5 PSI in my airbags. I try to keep them at that. Um, bleed down when the weather gets hot and then add air when it, in the winter when it gets cooler. Um, I think it complements the AHC suspension a lot because you can adjust your load carrying capacity above the AHC, which means if you're in an off-road situation um, where you need to maintain that high ground clearance, uh, you can do so with the, with the airbags. And you know we all have air compressors in our truck or portable ones that we bring along or even a CO2 tank, you can add pressure to those airbags. So I've read stories about people, they've been wheeling all day and they get to a section and suddenly their AHC goes to neutral or sometimes it even goes to low. And no matter how much they push on that button, turn on and off the truck, it just won't go up. And that's because those pressures are being exceeded. Uh, you saw on the screen that the accumulator pressure is only a maximum of 10. So if you need more than that 10 to lift the, the truck up. It's just gonna flat line at 10 and, and that's all you get. So with airbags, you can use a, a air compressor and increase the load capacity. You also saw as we added PSI in the rear, it also reduced the load on the front suspension. Um, so if you're gonna do this, you should tune your torsion bars and your AHC pressures and all that stuff and kind of get an idea, like I'm showing you in this video, of where, how the airbags affect it. Uh, I don't think there's any problem with going too low on pressures, except your, um, if you, uh, your pressures are too low, then your ride is gonna be bumpier. And if your pressures are too high, then that is gonna, over time, it could cause like seals to fail or your shocks to weep, uh, fluid, things like that. Um, so yeah, kind of cool. I uh, really like the airbags. Um, there's two types of airbags, and the ones that we're talking about for the 100 series, uh, the LX470 is the type that goes inside the coil spring. And uh, there's other types that go in like semi trucks or heavy duty pickups. And those are, are more like a supplemental airbag that goes beside the shock absorber and the spring, and it goes beside or like leaf spring setup, and it goes beside that and, and increases and directly pushes on the chassis or plate and on the axle, whereas the airbags here uh, that we're talking about, the Airlift 1000s, fit inside the coil spring and they actually push out on the coil spring and that outward movement causes the spring to shrink or grow. Um, the more pressure you put, the more it grows. So it doesn't affect the spring rate in the same way that those other more conventional airbags do. Um, in my opinion, it's very, linear and progressive and I'm hoping I'm going to graph up these numbers and it's going to show uh, something similar to that. So thanks for look, watching. As always, uh, love the Lexus, the LX470. If you have one of these, you should definitely get TechStream. Um, there's ways to get it for free. I'll put the link in the, subscription, or the description down below. And you just use like a Windows laptop or something. It's like I said, it takes a long time to connect, but you can do some really powerful things. And in my opinion, it's key if you're going to tune up the uh, Lexus AHC suspension. So thanks for watching.